Alright, let's see where this goes. Let's get a little bit of video gaming in. A little bit of gaming, a little bit of maiming. I don't know. I have no idea where we are even in this game. It's been a hot second. It's been a cool, hot, any kind of moment since we played this game. So I was like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where we're at this time. <laughs> Fucking mimics! I hate mimics. I fucking hate mimics. As I pull the hair back. There we go. Much better. Talos one lobby. Lobby! Neuromod abilities are produced by recording the neural 
connectomy or connectomies of artists greatest athletes artists and thinkers I have no idea what a connectomy is, but I'm gonna assume that that is a horribly disgusting abomination of a disease. Cause it's way more fun that way than to think that that's actually something of note or of value. Let's see, we're in the staff now. Oh, I'm fat fingered that. Where is this? Oh yeah, this is where the internet like dropped off, right? And I was like, eh, no way no. This is somewhere else. I have no idea where we're at. Uh, let's see. Inventory. I got water pressure regular. Regulates the flow of water supply. Customized for Talos 1 plumbing systems. Okay. Uh, objectives, I guess? Let's see. Go to deep storage. Find out what happened to Hunter Hall and Shuttle Exalt. To go to the security station to track down Hunter Hall. One who is December. We have to go to Alex's office. Alice One exterior. Blow the shuttle bay escape pod from the station exterior. Arboretum. Crew quarters. John Fowler and uh, life support and power plant. And find that guy in guts and then psychotronics. Scanning target, no alien material detected. So that's why that says to go over here, because it's like I think this is a place I need to go. So we found January already. Whom we don't care about. I was like, I, I heard it immediately, but I didn't think that, like... I think there was a Mimic literally just chilling in here. Fucking Mimic. Okay. Motherfucking Mimics. Eradicator auto turret. Oh, so this is what the radioactive thing's about. Eradicator auditory version 
0.7.6 online. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Bang 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 Alright. Back to hardware labs, I think. Actually no, this is not where I wanted to go, but this is like a direction I think because we need to go to life support. So I think this is a direction that we can go to get to where we need to go. Uh, let's see. Where's my not numpad? Uh, inventory, right? Or no, I map. Let's see, where are we going? Uh, let's see that with it. Um. Uh, that way, that way. We'll go over there. Oh, okay, so we're going over to Talos Exterior then. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Weep, weep, weep. Bam. Uh, seems quiet. Let me get some of this drinky water. There we go. Nice and tasty, tasty drinky water. Grab a paper. There's the phantom upstairs probably losing his mind again. some more Q-beam. Do I have the Q-beam set up? No, I don't. Uh, let's see. Equip. I've never actually uh, tested this out on, on like, normal stuff. Find normal because it was like didn't feel very normal. It felt like I blew the fuck out of that thing. 
But like I blew the fuck out of that thing, and didn't really go exactly how I was planning, but alright. I forgot, I could probably just like, I was like, I can upgrade this, right? Put a little bit of that in there. Power increased. Uh, I don't have tech lab. Neural mod. Uh, tech lab. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Up. And then we can grab this gun and equip it. Equip. Equip. She never knew. And then we take it higher. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't think I need to repair that one. So now we can go back over here and get the medical thing. The medical operator. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better. All done. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. All done. All better. Oh, baby. And then we can uh, save here. But I don't think there's anything actually in hardware lab we need to do, right? No. All this outside. <laughs> Microgravity detected. Microgravity detected. I think I'm looking for that hatch over there, right? We don't care about the airlock and psych psychotronics, right? Actually, no, we do care about psychotronics because that had a thing in it, right? Or... Yeah, it was like Bellamy. I'm gonna go find that guy's corpse. So let's go over to psychotronics first and then we'll go over to the hatch. Good old psychotronics. Well, it's probably gonna be. Er, where was my brain going on that one? Where well, there's probably gonna be a hundred billion gazillion, fuck billion, good good goddamn uh, goddamn mimics.
Did I ever find where this prick's body is? Mimic tumor. M m m m m m m m m tumor. Feature to sample. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Another Mamic. That asshole. The Voltaic Phantom down there. But we're not interested in him. We're looking for the guy in Psychotronics. I was like, both! Both of which we're not super interested in, to be honest. Then if we can't find this guy, we're just gonna go down to Guts. Smash. I'm assuming that Weaver is probably going to be my dude, right? You good, dude? Why are you always dying everywhere? Not that I guess I'm super concerned or anything, but it's like, come on, dude. Can't be dying at every at every stretch of, of the race. That's all I gotta say. Cannot be dying at every stretch of the race. Is there a way to open this up? Because, like, I'm assuming the guy's body that I'm looking for is in there. Especially if that leads to the guts, then what I'm looking for has got to be right there. Okay, check scan. Uh, let's see. 
Operator dispenser. And I'll eat down to the morgue, which I don't care about. Oh wait, no, it, could he not be in the morgue? Okay, I didn't see him over here, so he could be in the morgue. I gotta go find his body, if his body's in the morgue. That could be a thing. There's no way that this guy is seeing me from that angle. There is literally no way. Turret down here. What's the guy down here? Pretty empty. So we're looking for a dude in the morgue. Potentially, anyway. Oh, probably one of those bodies, right? I don't think I had access to this place. They have the actual morgue. Like, I didn't have a key card for this. And then this is where I can use the uh, crossbow, right? Actually using my brain My brain finally turned on for once Till or Sylvan Bellamy oh, I got his cabin key. Oh My god, my foot is so asleep right now. It hurts Use Bellamy's key card to access his cabin in crew quarters. Well, we never made it to crew quarters So we have no idea where that is currently but okay. We did, however, get the morgue key cart and all this other shit. We got some neural mods. Some snacky snacks. Some snacky snacks. We got some aspired plasma. Aspired plasma. Aspired plasma. And a trash can and nothing else, all right. Thanks, dude. Thanks for patching my leaky suit. 
It was very leaky, apparently. So that leads to Guts, right? And we need to actually go into Guts because that's where we find Dalton or whoever that guy's name was. Okay, we should probably go in here. Even though I don't like going in here. Probably need to go in the Guts. We need to find that one guy. Which... Uh, And bam, right back into the gut. So now, what are we looking for? Objective, uh, Josh Dalton. I discovered information that Josh Dalton, a designer in the hardware labs had gone missing. It was all in something called the black box project find Josh Dalton or finding Josh Dalton may provide answers to what exactly the black box project is. I could use a security station to track him down. I need to find a security station in the guts and that should lead me to that guy. Okay, there's a Petri dish in there that I didn't find, but you know, whatever. Apparently I can't get wa rid of these water regulators, so okay. Now, provided I don't blink too much, it should be not that bad. Inspecting. Your suit meets regulation. Oh, I, I don't think I went all the ways in the gut, right? The magnetosphere and cargo tunnel. Corroded coil. Engineering operator. It might have been a corrupted engineering operator though because it is long since been dead. Rated that thing clearly. Um Nothing else is blinking or flashing, so I'm gonna say that everything else is probably pretty good here. Apparently, exactly one cystoid. Stuck behind a wall, that's why. I consider it inside or outside?
Uh, maintenance tunnel. Uh, no, I think that's outside, right? It can't be in here. I keep saying hatch, but it's like the hatch is like nowhere near where I can get to. I guess that's why I feel like less and less it's my problem. If like I'm like, yeah, no, I can't get to that. So here's our engineer buddy from before. Ramon Ridley, so it's like we don't care about this guy at all. Their gravity transition. Where the hell is this? Mag uh, this is the, yeah, the magnetosphere. Holy crap, I'm super disoriented already. I hate getting that disoriented. Like, talk about wanting to barf. Talk about wanting to barf. Okay, so that's actually not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go this way, so I want to go towards the main objective. So, evidently, no matter what I do that way, that's not the way to go. Okay. So I don't know how to find Josh Dalton yet because I don't know how to get to security, and security is not going to lead me to where I need to go because I don't know where security is. Got it. Until I find a, a place that has security. I'm not gonna find this dude. Unless I stumble upon him, of course, but. I'm assuming the odds of that are not high. Like, do I want to fuck with the weaver? What's it week two? No wave and side shock. That weaver's dead. Uh, it seems not bad. It seems not bad. Okay, anything else around here? 
I don't think I inspected whoever the fuck this guy is right here. I was like, this thing does not want to get hit, does it? This should be a Q beam, right? Definitely was, and then just Josh up there we go. Oh, I Lane? Josh? What the hell is this? I got a security request saying to... <sighs> it's not funny, asshole. You know what's not funny? Taking credit for my design. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the Black Box Project, Josh. That's how it works here. If you weren't such a piss-poor team player, you'd understand that. Oh, and by the way, I had to fix a bunch of your calculations, so it's not you... Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> What is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> You're so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! Did he fire his beam thing at, at the guy and kill him? I, I respect it. Respect it. Probably not the way to answer things, but I respect it. Especially if you had an asshole. Murdering a fool is probably definitely not the right way to do it, but I respect it. I respect it. A lot of like jars here or whatever. The Arboretum. Oh, this was literally just where the Arboretum was, right here. All right. The maintenance psychotronics cargo grew into cargo. I don't think we need to go anywhere else but here now at this point, right? Been here, clearly. Clearly, evidently, and like, I put all that goop everywhere. Goopy goop. Goopy goop. Uh, oh yeah, we can do the fabricator, we can fabricate some pistol bullets. Crafty, crafty. 
Bam. Got some more pistol bullets. Craft some glue. We're releasing one canister of glue shit. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to do, actually. I wanted to... The glue canister, not the glue gun, but that's fine. That's fine, I'll scrap it, whatever. I fucked up, but that's... Nah, I gotta deal with it, I guess. One thing, a shotgun. The scrapper's right there, thankfully, so... I may, may or may not have, like, moused over it in, in my head, so... Bam bam, thank you, ma'am. So Alex is safe. There's apparently a golden gun over here. And I have no idea who that is, but they clearly know who I am. From way the fuck over there. Like, do I have the juice to kill a fucking nightmare? I don't think so. Nothing hit me around a corner, alright? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. The funny part is I died right here, so all that got literally reset, and then I can literally just do all this again, so. Blue canister. Just a bullet. Uh, shut the gun. That nine miller again. We good. And we should be good. Oh, that can dump off the uh, the Q beam. And then my excess stuff, right? Is that guy still alive over here? Yeah, he is. The nightmare is still alive over here. Good to know. Mm-hmm. 
Motherfucker literally just snuck that one in there, huh? So apparently they can't get it like in the vents or whatever, or not in the vents, but like in the ducks. That's what I meant. I'm in like one of the ducts. But I guess they don't know how to get in here. Oh, I forgot they can hit me through walls. I keep forgetting that's a thing. I don't know. I guess until I have like a completely like leveled up gun, I'm just gonna wait it out then and just let the nightmare thing pass. I killed it one time, but I don't know. It, it kind of just doesn't seem worth it. Kindly fuck off now. There we go. Even like it looked like it did any damage. Oh my god. Okay, how much damage did that do? Oh, that thing actually does a shit ton of damage if the thing actually procs. I haven't seen that thing actually hit him one time though. 200 damage on a recycler? Alright. All right, good to know. Good to know that the the distortion beam doesn't do anything. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Recycler charge, no wave. Uh, well then let's do a psych hypo, right? Wow! Alright. <laughs> He's literally just right there, waiting. 
That's like the awkward part. Like now, now he's just like literally hovering over the the fucking hole. And then, and then he just, and then he does it after that, and then he does it. This weird, like, ground pound fucking, like, slap move that the, that the nightmare does is, like, ridiculous. I'm waiting for it to be an actual nightmare and just not a cheat mer. Because currently it's just a cheat mare. Like, what is that attack? He hit me through the ground again. He literally hit me through the ground. I ran all the way away from the literal fucking thing. The nightmare can just hit you through the ground. Legit not fair. I have, no, I have no idea how to get rid of this guy, cause like, <laughs> I, I have no idea how to aggro him without completely like, pissing him off at this point. And then he's like, he's just here now. Like, he clearly knows I'm here. He clearly knows I'm here. I don't know how to like, aggro him without getting him to fuck off though. There you go. Have, have your temper tantrum up there. Whatever. I'm si I was like, I'm sick of your cheating ass. I've literally killed one of these assholes before, but it's like, th this one is actually just a cheater. Like, one shot me through the ground, not even gonna play. I don't need that. I do not need that. By the way, this thing is this thing is yelling at a frequency that's literally giving me an active headache. I have to sit through this for another minute and forty. I can literally feel like my skull vibrating, and my headset's not even that loud. Man, there's still a minute of this left. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. It seems a lot harder to evade this thing. If I was gonna actually like actively try to run away from it. In fact, the only reason why I, I seem to be able to evade this thing is because I don't think it can get in to this duct. Which ideally slash hopefully that there is a like more reason why they're not allowed to get in here. Or they seemingly don't know how to get in here because pretty sure this like telekinetic like whatever whatever shooty thing can literally just like beat my ass in here. Uh huh. Uh -uh. I was like, my pistol completely disappeared. Nice, nice. Uh, so, all right. So now I think I have access to. Oh, I still need the fertilizer sample. That's right. I think I currently have access to uh crew quarters now, right? So I found the thing that like enables me to have access to to crew quarters. This is a reminder that the identity of guests visiting Talos is strictly confidential. I think I bit a hole in my cheek. My cheek hurts a lot right now. That or I had like a tooth catch it or something. A tooth. Nice butt. Oh, that was a pocket. Never mind. Never mind. Imagine thinking that somebody's pocket was their butt. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. I was just down there, right? Yeah. It's gotta be a very unimpressive butt then, when you think about it. Greenhouse, the bridge Alex use office. Keep storage, so we're gonna go this way, I guess, towards the golden gun. I still don't have the key card for that. Uh, we don't care about crew stuff anymore because of like we already found the crew guy that we needed for uh, the other place West stood tall which we already did also All these phantomoniums that we killed down here All the fantoons We should have access to crew quarters now, right? Because we found a key card. Oh, we don't. So then maybe the thing that we were looking for is here. And that's what that person meant by the answer to what we're looking for is in. Uh. That's what we're looking for is actually in Arboretum. Have we found anything different or new or something in Arboretum?
Uh, where do you get up there? Storage AR1. Zero one. Oh, wait, wait, we definitely been in here. Couldn't pick up that shotgun though. Definitely picked up the ammo for it though. How oh, I remember I was in here. I absolutely remember being in here. It, one entire dead nightmare corpse, or just the this nightmare is dead? Cause like, there's a lot of dead guy right here. A lot of momic too. Which I might as well burn that because we literally got all that for free by uh, uh, drinking water, so I mean... I'm super concerned on that front. Thermal absorption available. Absorbing thermal what though? What does it look like the shape in the glass? Did we make that in one of the laps? So are these actually like Are these just like regular people? They're just like corrupted. So should I not be killing them? Like, are they redeemable? Cause they all have names still. At least this one doesn't. But some of them have names, so maybe I shouldn't be killing them. Like a low lethal run is probably a thing. Like actively like trying your best to sneak past everything that's not like a mimic, because like seems like the mimics are kind of gonna do whatever they're gonna do, but the actual like big walky enemies definitely seem to be off the beaten path in the arboretum. I mean I'm look I'm looking for anything that's like not normal. That's like that's like my first clue. And just like scanning around it in the arboretum. But thanks for the thanks for the tib. Oh, I didn't read this one. I actually like the Starbender cycle book. It's a very odd and not uh not PC. Or not really, not not necessarily not PC. It's like uh, what is that called? As my brain slowly like trying to come off this headache, it's not um. I don't know. It, it, there's like hyper machismo in it. It's supposed to be like it's it's trying to be cooler than it is. That's what I'm trying to say. My brain's just not working right now. <clears throat> except from the book, or except from book four of the Star Bender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Trevor's breath fogged up the glass of the airlock 
door, obscuring the faces of the royal astronomer and Mercy, smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer menaced, for these breaths be your last breaths. That's just, that's just horrible to read. Now that I have the prism, the Dark Star Anomaly is under my control and all the galaxy shall. The astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast from Mercy's phase pistol. His remaining words replaced by the mute clattering of his teeth against the other side of the airlock door. Uh, while breath, our white breath fog mingled with red mist on the airlock glass, casting Trevor in a pink glow. Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this will fetch a nice price on the Thraxian black market. And with that, she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling out into the unloving black of space. I mean, he did trust somebody that tried to kill him a lot, so I mean, like, you know. Oh, the looking glass. That could be a thing. Thomas Tucker. Thomas Tuck 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 Tuck. Anything else around here? A uh, looking glass scene selector under construction. I mean, well, if it's under construction, bam! Typhon organs. Oh, well. Go up this thing. Now, I guess. Unburst tomato. Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the phytohormones when applied to already mature plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. I just need permission to run the plant through the fabricator. Makes sense. Hopefully. But it doesn't taste like shit indeed. Get a Mark's cabin, so found another lady. Good evening, Talos. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from six to eight PM.
shave, shaving, shaving, shaving in the shaving pool. Oh, wouldn't it be a lot of fun in a shaving pool? Shaving, shaving in a shaving pool. Probably not gonna come back for that shit anyway, so. That being said, though, I probably will actually now that I think about it, because I probably want to. I was like, I probably want to actually go back and dump off the shit I have currently. Dump that off, 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 and then dump off all the excess shit. And then we should be good to go. Tackle. Got all this extra metal. I think I got rid of my wrench. Fuck. How do I literally accidentally sell my own wrench? That's fine. More importantly, how did I accidentally fuck up my wrench? charge goes there how's the how, wait hold on how's the wrench not on the list now game oh, wait, auto sort right there we go how's my wrench literally not on here Christ. Where did my thing go? There it is. Harvest your fruit after the growth cycle is complete. Then it only takes like a mi like ten minutes or something to slowly start seeing like the shit grow or whatever. I was kind of hoping to see like it actively grow in front of me or something, but I guess not.
a little too hopeful, I suppose. Oh, I grab that, I suppose. Okay. Let's run along this path. Let's go back over to the looking glass or whatever, because apparently looking glass wasn't shit, so I broke it immediately. Like, all the problems I've ever had. Literally just run up and smack it, I suppose, because... The run up and smack it approach hasn't steered me wrong yet. Actually, one of my favorite approaches, to be honest. When in doubt, smack it. Galactic Conquistador set. I think I remember this. Uh, the Transstar Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusive for Talos One, the orbital research and development uh, facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Renowned uh, Belgian sculptor Frederick Schmart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. The installation artist, simply known as Jesse, constructed the chair. Oh, I know, we did read this one. Yeah. We did actually read that one. I don't think I read this, though. Midnight Songs and Classic Anthology of Tang Dynasty Verses. I absolutely did not read this one. Excerpt from an anthology of Tang Poetry on the Stark Tower by Wang Jihan, or Wang Jihan. Well, for good reason why I didn't read that one. I cannot read Chinese at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, the Neural Horizon 2. Second, excer or second excerpt from Brandy Story. Case studies of Neuromod donors and recipients. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by her paraplexus. She nodded. Not in agreement, but understanding my point. Because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept a Neuromod myself? Her smile became firmer. I think that makes... The gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided by Transtar to receive no further neural maps. Connectomies from paraplexus patients, citing unspecific risks. Hmm. Oh, I do actually have, uh, hacking for. When the fuck did I get hacking for? I do not remember this at all. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, missing key card. Alex, uh, found it. Neuromod division on top of a computer cabinet. I'd say someone was trying to hide it, along with what looks like a bug, or a bug out bag. Should I be concerned about anything? It's still there, by the way. Uh, let's see. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything, Alex. Okay. 
If it's a shutdown or on standby, it could be anywhere. Do I have permission to begin a search? Are you certain of this? If this operator exists, where would it be? Danielle Show. Uh, Dr. Yu. An operator follows an owner's commands to the letter. Morgan may have built an unlicensed model, and if so, it would have access to station protocols. I'll take the matter to the board if I have to, but I won't have more or Morgan's accidents place the station in jeopardy. Let's see, Chief Show. I doubt that accident has any relevance to what you're describing here. If Lorenzo says an investigation is unnecessary, I believe him. Doctor, you. I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino and got no response. So bringing the matter to you, or so I'm bringing the matter to you. There is evidence of an unlicensed operator aboard Talos One. If so. We might be risking another Transstar North incident. I want to ensure the station's safety and make sure IT protocols are enforced. Chief Show. Okay. Uh, Alex. You made it my duty to keep everyone on the station in good physical condition. The last time I checked, sir, you are part of everyone on the station. On my count, you've missed the past five scheduled fitness tests. If you're uncomfortable with some of the exercises and perform them in front of the crew, I can schedule you time in the fitness center where it's just the two of us. Remember, you wouldn't just be doing this to help yourself, but to set an example for the whole staff. Thanks so much. Emma Beatty, Talos One Fitness Trainer. And also the Morgan Eval. Your sibling is indeed different. I've sent the comparisons to you and Bell and me for evaluation. As you'll see, there's noticeable personality drift. More than I'd expect from heavy neuromod cycling. It's even more prominent because of the duration in which these behavior shifts have developed. As requested, I did not discuss this with Morgan. Interestingly, Morgan seems unaware of these shifts. As, a, as an aside, I believe this poses interesting questions for the application of the Neuromod. Not solely therapy, but reconditioning. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting. Also, is this always? I was like, is this always us? Because <laughs> literally, we decided to be the female uh, character as opposed to the male character. I was like, would we? Would the picture be slightly different? Would all the pictures be slightly different? Or no? Yes, no? Maybe so. I find that highly intriguing, to say the least. What's this telescope looking at? Nothing? This telescope's just pointing at a blank... A blank spot in space. Okay. That would seem weird that my... My... Super crazy scientist brother, whatever, would be... Pointing at a blank space. In space. There's probably some meaning to it. Maybe like the, the, the empty void, uh, the longing of something. That or he's fucking nuts. I like to think he's nuts, just for fun. Oh, he's fucking nuts, dude. We already read terraforming Mars, so... Oh, this should be fine. So let's go over here and, uh... Good evening, Talos. Find his sh As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos One. Doctor DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Is there a button here or something? I'd be lying if I said that I didn't break it for fun, but I did. 
But I did. But I did. But I did. But I did. And I thank you. But I did. But I did. But I did. Did you find it? Did I find what? The secret thing? I don't think I did. I found the, uh... What did I find? Since you were gone. I found upstairs. That's the thing. Once things get as I think they probably are. Your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. It shows an indicator in your HUD, though. Oh, for the golden... The golden pistol? No, yeah, I, I think I went around, like, the long way to figure that thing out or something. Uh, the thing... The indicator on the screen is for something else, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I knew the golden pistol was there. The whole time. I didn't get the, uh, crew key card. Which I think I just got from getting in the safe. I went over to like the bridge or whatever and the bridge told me that that was there. Like I said, I just didn't have access to it, I think. For whatever reason. I don't have. I didn't. I didn't have access to crew quarters. Yeah. And then I found something uh, while you were gone. I found the like looking mirror or something over there. And then, uh, as usual, with all my problems, especially when I was in uh, my office and I realized that like, I think I accidentally clicked my mouse when I was in my office and did it. But I smacked open the glass and there was like a thing behind it. So I definitely smacked open the glass. In the looking mirror and then some some momix popped out and then I went up the shaft and then I saw like a dead body up there or whatever uh, that's how I got the that's how I got the serum for uh, the gardening thing don't have the key card for crew quarters though still don't have that I wonder who has that then. Hmm. Maybe deep store? No. Over here. What shit is this? Ah! 
I been back here? I feel like I have. I think I'd remember this. Look, I don't even have this thing. Pistol crit. Increase the critical chance rate when firing a pistol. I was like, I don't have that. Uh, uninstall. I'm gonna put that one in. Mimic. Increases your psi pool to that. Psychoscope. Sky ends. Psychoscope. 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 Boost the amount of damage done by electrostatic burst. Increase the damage of all psi attacks. I don't even have a psi attack. Grants resistance to fear, which I don't really get feared. Allows detection of momics and of those things. I already have equipped. Decrease the amount of scan time. Uh, I guess I'll put that one back on. Throw it out. Even though I don't think I have that thing, why not? It'll give me a reason to look back at the thing and then like remove stuff if, any, if need be. Fucking bright. It's fucking bright, dog. What the hell is happening here? Why is it so fucking loud? Is there, a, is there a jump scare gonna happen here? What the fuck? Jump out already. Shotgun fabricator. Uh, recycler charge. But yeah, that weird eerie noise is just obnoxious at this point. Right there. Whatever that, whatever that is, is annoying. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Everything go well? Eventually. Had to wait a while. Two assholes in the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah. Just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site? The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. How smuggling ring. Find all six drop points around Talos and recover the stolen goods hidden in them. Interesting, so three taps of a wrench. Cool.
I'm looking for bell things. I'm, I was like, I'm assuming it's wherever she died was like the first one. Okay. Tell us one lobby. Uh, I guess I go over to cargo. So wait, what? What was the the tomato thing I got? Experimental fruit. Why do I want this? This doesn't seem good at all. Actually, wait, it doesn't give me any health, does it? Was I not supposed to eat the experimental fruit? Because nothing seemed to happen. Give me fullness, though. Good evening, Talos. I'm gonna quickly reload that. This is like that wasn't that far away. Maybe maybe it heals for a lot or something. Maybe it heals for a lot. Mike! Shamek. So then where the fuck is crew quarters key card? I went like everywhere. I must not have access to it yet then. So then deep storage it is. Deep toot. Because Talos one lobby. I don't think I care about currently. Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from APR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of Mr. the lobby. Mr. Tucker. You think you fixed this sink if I didn't? I'm gonna still probably take a look at it later, but I guess not tonight because it, it might get a little loud, but probably tomorrow when before I start the stream. But if you did, nice so, nice so, nice so, nice so. I think, I think. If it makes my job easier, I'm alright with it. I condone this, yes, 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 I condone this. The fuck is this? No mamax, no mama's way. Lock the airlock for the Arboretum. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to Ah, I got the crew card. We need or her crew to speak key. the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. If they have the right words. You're going to bed. Or All right, bro. Cho, cho, cho. Sleep well, dudes. Foul list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy. But look, don't do anything stupid. Okay? Ivy. Ivy. Shit. Damn it, Danielle. Where are you? Detour. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. For Danielle shows crew cabin for samples of her voice. Why do I need her voice? Uh, Orden Baffles treasure map. Treasure map for Orden Baffle. 
flag dastrous? What the fuck is even this? B2. Okay. Well, at least now we can go back over to, uh... I was hearing this. I heard, I heard the trickling of water and got scared again. Right, we're gonna go back over to the sprinkler system, do this thing, and then... I guess take another look at that map. We definitely wanna drop off some of our junk. So I drop off our wrench. I want to get rid of that. We can get rid of our pistol though, and we have an excess shotgun, don't we? I don't think we do. Doesn't look like it anyway. I want to actually get rid of some of my scrap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably not. How about armor? Oh, that doesn't actually give me anything. What about some of my darts? Man, all this shit gives me like barely anything. Oh, uh, that's just exotic materials. Like, none of this gives me anything. Uh, I don't think I want anything. Then. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, what was that thing I got? Let's see, status, data. Yeah. The horde and. Apple. Flag. Flag Dastrous? Flag Dastrous? Okay. B2. Where the hell is this thing? Mm. Where the hell is this? Hmm. Hold on. Not here. Here. Okay, so it's not on this area, alright. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. I could have swore it. Hold on. I've seen a map area like this, right? seen this B2 
Talos bridge, crew quarters, deep storage, Talos one exterior. Hardware lab, psychotronic, shuttle bay, neuromod division, Talos. Power plant. Life support, right? Uh, can I see the map for this? Okay. It's a water treatment, right? It's the two silos and then the main silo or whatever. That's a mistaken. Travel to the crew quarters. In crew quarters, transfer employees enjoy numerous amenities, including a fitness center, theater, and the yellow tulip lounge. Employees are assigned either a ground suite, a modest cabin, or an efficient habitation pod according to their role. You, I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. The cook's request. Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. Investigate the cafeteria in the crew quarters. I was like, I'm gonna hang out here, dude. We're gonna be a giant butthole, yo. I gotta just beat that guy down. He just doesn't care. Mike, when you're heading up to the exec suites to fix the cooling system, there you can bring Morgan these supplies. By the way, the code to the grav shaft has changed to 3082. Thanks, Kev. Okay. Disruptor battery.
crumply paper. Print. Ba bam. Got secured pharmaceuticals. Key card. A mimic. Spirit. More mimic. More mimic. Spirit. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. A more mimic. More mimic. I was like, if you're gonna literally walk over to me while I'm repairing this thing. Nice little gun gun. Good disruptor turret. Actually being semi useful her once. The Neural Horizon. Uh, epilogue of Brandy Story Case Studies of Neuromod Donors and Recipients. Went to visit the Graces. Brandy had passed from her uh, paraplexus, and the connectomy of her ability to skate still remains unused in Transtar databanks. Her parents declined to be interviewed, citing the interviews with Brandy had done more harm than. Oh, wait, we already read this one. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Uh, rather than raising awareness, the condition had shown the division. Brandy had been one of the first to discover her new handicap. But if neuromods are the future, what happens to those unable to use them or afford them? They get left behind. Make everything else clear. Eh? Yellow tulips, duck beer, more alcohol, more alcohol. Tizzy destroyed. Yellow tulip supply locker. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. A little bit of scissor. Else, anything back here? Nope. Uh, white noise. That's horrible. Station playback. Alex Welcome, Stokes. everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 neuro mod mark. 8,000 neuro mods. Sharing skills. Abilities, improving the quality of life, and you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear sister, Morgan, who has left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transstar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transstar. 
to the Neuromart and the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday, except Chief Show, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. Hmm. I see. I see, I do. Mm. I see. I see. I see and I see indeed. Okay. Okay, uh let's put this here. Deploying. Grab all these. Did I break this one? No, I didn't break that one. Get turned up. There should be another turret over here somewhere, I think. Oh no, it's over there, right? Yeah. I could grab this turret over here, too. I have no idea what you're talking about, guy, but uninterested in whatever you got going on currently. I'm over here just trying to get these auto turrets. around here for free that I can grab? Nope. Alright. Give me this turret then. Oh, I didn't want to hack it. Well, shit. Well, shit. Alright, let me carry this. I actually didn't know I can carry a broken turret in this fashion. I thought I would drop it, especially when I use the booster. But okay. Good enough. Uh, do I have repair three? Cause I feel like a, a fortified would help against this nonsense that's about to happen. I don't think I have repairing three. Yeah, I was like, not a chance. All right, that should be a good enough save, I suppose. Where the hell did this thing come from? 
I had scanned already this whole area. Weird. Weird. Alright. Uh... I would just eat my, uh, apple. Appa. And... Am I missing anything else I can just eat? Candy. Oh no, put my wrench up here, right? Yeah. Goes over there. And eat that. Eat these. Oh god, that should be good enough. So it's not until I should do the music drill mod demonstration. Dang, those things did not care. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, a greater mimic just happened to spawn here? That's what happened. I have to literally hit the button and run over there. And actually, if they're just gonna like completely ignore these things. Might as well have them go outward. Circuit.
It's actually not bad music right now. Listen to Danielle's song in the yellow tulip. Man. Why are they all moving? Interesting. Boop, boop, boop. Bam, bam. Note. The escape pods didn't work, and we believed it was intentional. Those black shapes are everywhere, and everyone we know is dead, or something worse. We aren't going to let that happen to us, to our families. We love you. Brandy Pester and Jenny Garbanzoff? Do they blap themselves, I think? Here. What the fuck is going on over there? No more running for you. And place all my junk in the recycler. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Looking good. Looking good again. I got my coffee over here. Most important, you can't leave home without your coffee. I was like, apparently my turret got messed up and like pushed over here, but didn't get killed, which is interesting. It's kind of an interesting concept where like. It got broke, but not entirely to the point where it was gone. So it kind of, I guess, just got folded up and then stuck over there. Very interesting. All the gin over there, because I don't really need it. I don't need the alcohol. For the most part, anyway. Until I figure out what fear does. I find it very interesting I can't save. So very concerning. Oh, 
Eradicator auto turret version 7.7.6. Online. I was like, why can't I not save? Don Davis. Okay. Abilities, download map area. Holy shit. Food quarters is ginormous. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want to touch that yet. I don't have access to save yet. Hmm. Three zero eight two. Mm. Currently, not very trusting. I could get in there if I wanted. I could. Currently don't see a good reason to do that though, but I could. Like I have this person's. Uh, my enemy is my enemy. I already did that one. The enemy is my enemy of my friend is my enemy. Very good, very good. There. 9mm bullet. That thing. 3, 2, 6, 2. The Artemis Golden Pistol. Oh, apparently this is the really good gun or whatever. Uh, make that three now. Time to upgrade. Forgot to this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Confirm. Confirm. Doesn't seem that good, but whatever. Seems pretty accurate, though. Seems pretty accurate, though. Unmodified, it has 10 damage, but it has 11 firepower because it's modified? Interesting. Do I have uh, enough neural mods to upgrade this? I've been smith. I need one more gunsmith. That's fine. Also, does it have less damage than this one? Oh no, this one only has 7. Still can't save the game, by the way.
You can look on that butthole. Good luck. Typhon lure. Hypocy fabrication. Petri dish. That guy's not gonna leave, is he? He has like his alert still at max. Well, that's gonna get awkward shortly. Or not? Where you go? We went into this one, right? No, where the hell did that guy go? Pew, 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 pew. Kind of waiting for him to like, you know, fuck off. Also, hello, blunts. Apparently, it happens going through the level transition doors. Interesting. Interesting. Well then, ah, I will take a look at that shortly. Okay. But thank you for the information. <laughs> I love that I can just peek the corner and just do that to him. Out of nowhere. He's like, he's like, let me in, please. Please, bro, let me in. Are you angry? No, not really. I'm waiting for your alert to go down so that I could literally put this shotgun in your back and walk away. Transition doors, all right. That means I want to go over here and then leave and then come back. I'm assuming. Leave and then come back. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. Look a good place to save to me. And go back. And go back. I just assumed the game was dumb. Which I wouldn't doubt. I've had a lot of bugs happen in this game, surprisingly. Or unsurprisingly. Which everybody tell, tells me, oh yeah, this is a great game, and it never bugs, or like it doesn't have that many issues or whatever, and I'm like, if there's a bug, I guarantee you I'll find it. I'm a master at things breaking under my watch. Every time, in fact. Cool. Cuckoo -coo ka -choo. No throw, huh? There we go. Requesting new operator. Anti rad pharma fabricator? Nice, nice, nice. I don't think I had that one yet. 
Well, it's hard to tell what I've had at this point. All better. Oh, baby. I'm gonna need you to chill out in there. Need you to chill out in there, dude. Oops. I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, Quentin. I know, but if we... I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Mm. Subject Dr. Annalise Gallegos, prepared by Officer Malaya Fowles for Alex Yu. So you know an associate, Quentin Purvis, engineer, life support, known associate, William Mitchell, chef, crew quarters. Uh, 8.05 a.m. Subject left private quarters, presumably to report for first shift, verified with psychotronic security. 9.13 a.m. Subject returned to private quarters during shift hours. Reason unknown. 9.21 a.m. Quentin Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters. 9.45 a.m. Quentin Purvis left subject quarters, observed carrying a portable device. 10.01 a.m. Subject left private quarters, walked to cafeteria, and was admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. 10.15 a.m. Subject left crew quarters, verified with psychotronic security. Subject reported back to workstation. Wait, what? Interesting. 7.47 p.m. Subject returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. Hmm... The intruder, please help! There's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry! <laughs> like how it's literally to anybody. A basement in space. Seriously? My quarters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino Pero. Okay. Not sparkling. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you the flat piss your concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet, would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. What a complainer. FYI, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people had given out the code to employees that didn't have the service docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 2853 in case anyone who paid for it forgets it. Thanks, Emma. Let's get in the mailroom first. Good enough. We got a suit repair, get some flowers, get some baseball gloves, get a neural mod, which now we can upgrade our pistol all the way, it looks like. As well as anything else we have that we want. Oh, might as well do that now. Because we do use our pistol the most, probably. But now that we have the air quotes good pistol, we might as well burn it. Gun Smith. Now we can upgrade our pisto. Upgrade. 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 
Upgrade, upgrade. Cold dead hand. Doesn't seem that good to be honest, but okay. I was like, and the firepower is maxed out, but you know, whatever. Bam. A lot of pistol rounds now. I guess in that case, and in that regard, we should also upgrade our shotgun all the way to max, right? Yeah. Cause I don't care how many rounds it holds, but we should at least get the firepower up. Perfect. Some of these things you can push, some of them you can't. So I was like, maybe I could push it with this. Nope. Let's see, we don't have E. Salazar. Or S. Elazar. Yes, E. Salazar. Yes, brain. Thank you. Good attempt. Good attempt. Igua's cabin. Orchestrated object reduct. Re Reduction? Reduction? Red Ushin. Okay. Some writing. That is, in fact, some writing. Vodka, which we don't care about. I can. The Neural Horizon. Uh, we haven't read this one. First excerpt from Brandy Story Case Study of Neuromod Donors and Recipients. The process doesn't hurt. Not at all. Brandy Grace speaks happily, enthusiastically. Her smile is radiant. Her eyes bright. There is no hint of the paraplexus eating at her nerve endings. The Olympic medals lie in their glass cases, facing her like an audience. Yet I still had my love of skating. But the skill felt trapped inside my head. The mods, she corrects. The neuromods allowed that skill to be shared with the others. A gift. Bad. Also, this absolutely reminds me right here. This picture right here absolutely reminds me of... Uh... Another Arcane Studio game. Uh, by Dishonored. This literally reminds me of, like, the portraits in Dishonored. Pretty sure that's another Arcane, anyway. Very reminiscent of that, though. Very reminiscent. I, don't, I mean, I don't need this, but okay, I just downloaded it, I guess. Uh, let's see. Meeting Gustav. Dr. Igwe, I, rely, or I relayed your previous requests, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Talos 1, Volunteer and Guest Liaison. Uh, let's see, Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Littner's visit. Is it still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him for the neuromapping procedure, if possible. Interesting. Moon rock carving. That was a moon rock carving. Beer reactor. Keep giving me fear stuff. Upon killing a Typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast on other nearby Typhon. I don't know what fear does, though. And I can't exp I haven't seen fear inflicted on me, so... It must be a survival thing. Or like a survival mode modifier. I have that key card.
Oh, is this a poltergeist? Sure makes your aim annoyingly wonky. I don't think I've been feared, so... I don't know what causes fear, but that's never happened. Yep. Eat a butt. Stupid ass poltergeist. Certain enemies can inflict fear, mainly weavers, and I think possibly telepaths. Not sure? Alright, well. I don't mess around with weavers, so. That would make sense why I've never been feared. I've only fought two weavers. One was in, er, one was in like zero gravity or whatever. The low gravity. And the other one was... Well, I guess they were all out in space. The other one I killed with the uh, Q-beam, like, almost immediately. But I don't mess around with any of those enemies, so... I guess that would make sense. I was like, speaking of Q-Beam. I need to get my uh, tech lab stuff up higher so that I can unlock that. Trash can. Weapon smithing. Prowl. What does that do? There we go. I'm not gonna just bring it up normally, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the lazy way like that. See, increase your movement speed while sneaking. I don't really have that. This one. So this is just another one, okay. That material. Like the chart. Ooh, I don't have that one. Email. Dr. Thorstein, I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been on a waiting list to get one of these and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one on in my office this morning. It's this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it'd be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Thanks, Dr. Deo Igwe. Okay, and then port record. I always want to click it. I just want to click it. It's F. Keep it right. F. Uh, want to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure what to do or where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. As the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean, no offense, but Morgan's requisitioned. Enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now. And we have other operators that need maintenance. Clive. So that's January and December, I guess? Both of them? So then is there an operator of all... kinds? Somebody got stabbed up in here. I already had 
find that one. Anything else of value in here? Test tube, disruptor battery. I should honestly get rid of some disruptor stuff. It seems very useless. Matthias Cole. He dead as hell. Disruptor is the best weapon of the game, my emote. I don't agree with you. <laughs> it's good for technopaths. I'd agree with that. I'm gonna say the best weapon in the game is the wrench. IMO. See, I'm sorry, crumpled and incomplete handwritten note. Abby, it felt more personal to write you a note, but still not as terrifying as trying to apologize to you in person. I know I'm a coward, but don't trust what I'm going to say. I don't trust what I'm going to say, so... A crumpled and incomplete handwritten note. Abby, I'm not good at this. That's obvious. Words, words, bleh. A crumpled and incomplete handwritten note. Abby, sometimes the words come running out of, my, of your mouth and you want to catch them all, but it's too late. They're out there, I... Friday night. Toto, find missing transcribe, check theater, get my stuff from Abby's cabin, finish draft of apology letter, pull head out of ass slash prioritize relationships over work. Search the theater for samples of Danielle Show's voice. Okay. I did the Dark Star Anomaly. I'm just not a fan of it, to be honest. That's all. Not a fan of it. I don't trust me getting this thing at all, but okay. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Okay. Dear Future Us, today, Future Us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to stubborn <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Processing at 7%? Nice. Daniel Show tracking bracelet. We can go find her corpse, I'm assuming. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you going to invite me to this game or not? Interesting. Gathering echoes. Rich Daniel shows crew cam for samples of her voice. Okay, well, we did that. We got Lorenzo Calvino's password acquired. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Calvino, for starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department and don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email, regardless of how tight our security is. You never know. Third, 
password guidelines are just that, guidelines. You're all grown-ups and can use whatever you want. But we have a list of recommendations for keeping your passwords safe. Thanks, Danielle. Show Chief Archivist. Danielle, my workstation said it was time to update my password. I wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublai Khan and whether that fits your requirements. Regards, Dr. Calvino. Okay. Hey, Danielle, I'm pulling a late shift on the, okay, search Sky's habitation pod for samples of Danielle Show's voice. So then she's in the pod? Okay. I'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight and I left my transcribe in the pod. I convince you to bring it to me on your way to deep storage. By the way, I have some ideas for making our uniforms look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the tulip. Don't be scared. Thanks. Treasure hunt. What are you? Find Zachary West's map. Wait, did I find a map? Find Elias Black's map. Find Danielle Show's map. Find Emma. Oh, that's the guy, the dead guy with the weird, like, smiley face map. Right, right, right. Investigate Horde and Baffles map. Right, 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 right. That's that map that I found. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. Managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize. Your humble game master, Abigail. So yeah, that was the one that I... Pretty sure is in like... Uh... What, what was that place? Water? Treatment, right? In the water place, anyway. In the Calvino's cabin, okay. I was like, another poltergeist want to be in the bathroom? Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it is 75 minimum, or 75 minutes of exercise per week minimum. Code of the gym is 2853 in case you forgot. We already had that though. Because I cleared this and I'm surprised that there wasn't a poltergeist in here. There's shit? Oh, that's... There was, okay, there was a poltergeist. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Very cool. I only heard the audio. I didn't even know it was there. Convenient that I saved there. I suppose. Convenient. I should grab this real quick. Even though I already know the code. Double make certain I have the code now. Right, let's use this dumb gun that I'm, I'm told is apparently really strong. What?
Why does it sound so squishy? Sir, if I can have you just come out. Sir. Sir. Oh, it does a it does a blast outward after you hit it. I didn't know that. What's well, at least convenient for stunning it? That's a fact. Convenient for stunning it. But nah, nah, nah. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia. I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Milieu. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes, the house she keeps. Visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take note. The Yellow Tulip. Join us for a private celebration of Trans Star success. 7 p.m. Alex Toast and Review. 8 p.m. Crew Demonstration. Sky Braxton and Danielle Show. Crew Facilities. Second floor. Mezzanine. That was a mezzanine. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Neuromod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? <sighs> Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Ooh, more echoes. Good skies, the fine voice sample processing at 90%. Yeah. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. And don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. The Lover's Gift. Find the tree with the lover's initials in the Arboretum. Dang. There's so many side quests. There's like so much like... I guess I don't really like side quests. There's so much like hidden stuff, I should say. Like hidden side stuff. Uh, Anders, your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, the code 3338 on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Oh. That's the mailroom key that I don't need anymore because I already hacked in there, but I guess that would have been useful to know. I didn't have hacking.
All right, there's probably gonna be another nightmare in the Arboretum, right? Man, I hate the nightmares. They're not even nightmares, they're just annoying. They're annoyings. Habitation pawn. Do your breach detected beyond this point. Okay, so I have to go outside for that? Temperature detected 3.27k. Kelvin? Interesting. Character sheet. Fatal Fortress. Rosalind Swift. Whose cabin is this? Oh, Emma. Okay. So then all these people that went on a treasure hunt also had conveniently character sheets. Good to know. Hi, Mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left. Dr. Preston said I should draw it. And that would help make them go away. I hope you like my picture and come home soon. Love you, Cory. Do we do like a poltergeist? Uh, Granger's memoirs. Excerpt from a journal written by Harley. Yeah, Harley Granger. 927-2034. I should still be down there playing. My guys needed me, and my shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. I brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween. But turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, short as it was. What are the chances Mr. Yu could set me up with the neuromods I need to put me back in the game? Hell. He could buy a franchise and stock it with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a Neuromod, would it be me playing? League would never let modded players in, but how would they know? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that is kind of a good question. How would how would you know if somebody was modded or not? Oh, you. I was like, what the hell is making noise? Did I find Bellamy? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. That's right. We found him in the uh, morgue. I forgot I found that earlier. I was like, wait, did I actually find that guy? I forgot he's in psychotronics in the in the tingy. Right, 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 right. Psychoshock shielding. How's that? Uh, psychoshock grants resistance to psychoshock. I'm assuming that's the thing that, uh, I don't do, yeah, no, like, I don't do that. I'm assuming this is the thing that potentially the poltergeist does, so that's probably useful. That's probably useful. Morgan, you Typhon research. New psionic aptitude available. Okay. Let's see. From Alex U to Sylvan Bellamy. Uh, over the past several tests uh, over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem. Even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Room A, for example, in test nine she exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. In test ten she simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then, in 14, she incinerated them. If not for the safety glass, you'd 
What is happening after a reset that's leading to this vari or the, to this variance, Alex? Hmm. What is in fact happening? Do we want to go into fitness? Because we have the key card access, but. Or not the key card, we have the number for it, but. I don't want to piss off these mind controlled people. That person's clearly dead. Oh, he died finally. There's good old Emma. Oh, we found her treasure map. L1. Okay, so these are map sections, because I don't recognize that one, but... It's Danielle. <laughs> trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No, not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Interesting. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage, anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the coral, my instrument readings are... erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. What the hell's the coral? Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. Okay. We can dump that off. We'll dump off all of our alcohol, because for the most part, I don't need most of that. And then we'll jump off the scrap. Yeah, buddy. Material. Living in a material world, and I am a material girl. Then I want to go find the telepath or the technopath that's controlling this guy and simultaneously controlling potentially anyone else around here. How big is fitness? Okay, this is a locker and then there's the pool, habitation. We also haven't gone over to rec and the cafeteria. I have no idea where this thing is potentially. How is there not an enemy in here? The we have the Huntress Bolt Caster, so I don't care about that. A uh, personal training session. As you know, Morgan's av availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow, if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. 
key code to the executive suite is zero, or 3082. The concierge. Where did that? Concierge. That asshole. Actually, hold on. Only the person down here would know where I'm at. Cause yeah, he's he's walking through the fire right now, but he died. Hmm. That one's walking through the fire too. I'm gonna save over here just in case. What the hell is the telepath weak to? Fire and no wave. I don't have any of that, right? Gonna Q beam him then. Hey, equip. How many neural mods do I have? Oh, I should have enough tech for that last thing, right? Here we go. Then I can actually level that up and do more damage with it. Increase movement speed while firing. Reload speed. Fire for longer between reloads. Oh man. Sir? I need you to conveniently die here. Cool. I saved a couple people. First time ever. Firsties. Oh no, that's outside. Yeah, that's outside. Okay. Tire the path down. Easy clap. I was, th I was thinking this is like the hidden thing. The, the three taps on the thing. Because it looked convenient like I can just walk up there. I was like, that looks like a thing. Yeah, it's not. Three 
three taps at a clap. Guess these guys also don't know about like walking behind technology, but okay. Laundry cart, all that good jazz. <laughs> Ooh, EMP. I probably should get rid of EMPs too. In before, I'm told that EMPs are also like the most broken thing. But I have not used EMPs because EMPs don't seem that good either. Actually, I did use one EMP for the, uh, the electric guys. Right, I did use one. A single EMP. Okay, so now all those people should be fine. So, are the people over here still affected by that telepath, then? Telepath is weak to stun, like most things. I just figured I'd shoot it from uh, far away because I didn't really want to glue it. And most of the time I hate gluing things. Because the amount of times I've tried to glue something and it just like breaks the glue off somehow or just doesn't get glued is very obnoxious. I respect the glue. The glue is actually like useful and strong. Uh, when it is actually useful and strong, but most of the time the glue is absolute dog shit. And I hate it. Unless, of course, that's not supposed to happen. Like I said, I've had turrets bug. I've had turrets not able to shoot anything or see anything. I've had things clip through walls. I've had to reload checkpoints because uh, my quest item was broken. I had a box clip through me, and then I couldn't uh, jump, so I was soft locked for a while. I've had a lot of shit happen, so. Mayhaps. I'm just a little jaded, but yeah. Glue seems shit. Every time I use it, I hate it. Well, there's that guy. But yeah, I've tried using glue on telepaths and technopaths, and they don't they don't give a flying fuck. Which is why I've ceased doing that. can't see that thing, can you? Because of the thing in the way? Oh, no, I forgot. It's not, the, it's not the, the thing's in the way. It's because you're in another room, right? Yeah, I hate this weird, like, barrier. Like, doorway barriers. Should be able to see it now. Or not. Whatever. Alright, so what? 
Oh, is this not a way to get like up? Oh no, this should be up above ground. Character sheet, Captain Stabfellow. Stabfellow's treasure map. I have no idea where that is either. All right, uh, Elias has- Stabfellow! Stabfellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him Abigail. is his blood trail. Oh. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door. Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias, sorry, Stabfellow. Captain Stabfellow. Can I answer her? Hell no. You hear nothing. From the darkness, it has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. A uh, horde and baffle. Flag dash. Oh, so the names of all these people are literally the maps that they made for the character sheet. Got it. I was like, these are some weird names. Let's see. Remember, or the ogres keep. Remember, blind ogres can call for help with gongs. Uh, try to distract flag dastrous from using white gem against necro. And plus one lock bonus to whoever figures out. Stripes riddle. Abigail's key. Fatal Fortress game, Master's Tome, 6th edition. Excerpt from the 6th edition of Fatal Fortress rulebook. Greetings, Game Master. Fatal Fortress is a world deprived of sunlight. As Game Master, you will guide a troop of stalwart adventurers through glittering caves crawling with ratmen. Into battles against horrors that have slept for centuries and deep into the secret heart of the Fatal Fortress itself. Unlike other games, Fatal Fortress has no set character classes. Instead, encourages players to play their own way by mixing and matching abilities as they are faced with new challenges. This game also features a dramatic magic system where players create their own spells by drawing and combining runes. Each player will need a character sheet or character record sheet, a miniature to represent their character on the combat map, a full set of polyhedral, polyhedral dice, and a thirst for danger. Nice. Weird space version, weird space futuristic version of Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Good attempt, Brain. Good attempt. I don't think I need all these foam darts, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Put these back over there. Bam, bam, and then auto sword. I barely use the foam darts now, so... Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Blood right in my little, uh, little jets. Conscious. How's this guy unconscious? Not this shit again.
Hmm. It might be fine. Good night. Good night. Sweet, sweet motherfucker. Can I die? No, okay. Broke my TV. My TV. I don't think I cared about in life. TV in the. Oh my god, look at all these controllers. Holy shit. And you're so far away. You guys couldn't play together unless they were playing like. What would it be like? Super Smash? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it was like eight, play eight player Smash. It didn't even exist back then, I don't think. Whenever this game was made. 2017, right? I don't even think this game existed then. Or that game existed. A player smash anyway. Did they have any player smash in Brawl? I think so. I do not think so. God, I'm like hard peeking all this stuff without actually like Doing a scan. Could be a momic around. Fucking hate momics. Global Unity Games. Excerpt from a gaming magazine article Altered Humans by Halo. <laughs> That's a weird name. Halo Michelson. The global Unity games have come to a close, but final media or medal totals for the participation. Our participating nations are in limbo amid allegations of neural enhancements and next generation pharmaceutical use. Every year these games see previous records shattered, and the latest is no exception by a stunning margin. Who the hell is this? Bruce Cobb. Bruce Cobb. Another poltergeist already? How much blood do you want? Dude. I'm your huckleberry. I right, read the fly. <laughs> I got choked up on my own spit there for a second. Happy birthday, Daddy. Uh, February 22nd, connecting to satellite TSCOM4. Connection established, checking for new messages. One new message found, retrieving. Uh, connecting to satellite TSCOM for error. Satellite TSCOM not responding. Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday. I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Trotted? Um, what else? Oh, oh Ren horse. Gave one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. <laughs> Poor kid. Gonna grow up without a daddy. I was like, if that's him anyway. Okay, who, who was this?
conferencing. Like, I don't know who Daddy is, though. Like, there's no, there's no list or anything. There's no, like, indicator of who that was. Well, David's alive. If you're... <laughs> If your dad was David, he's fine. If your dad was the the guy over there, woo, he he might be a little less fine. That's all I gotta say about that, he might be a little less fine. There's a wing. Wing, wing, wing. We got a wing chung tonight. Alright, so. What's the play here? It's not a hell. There's not a hell in way, yes. Yes. Thank you, brain. There's no way I can kill that technopath or, or the telepath before it literally f sends these boys to me, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Dead egg can be thrown or attached to surfaces, which I don't think I want to do that one yet. Or I don't want to do that one at all, right? Yeah, no. We're definitely not going to recycle the people. Okay. Hit this one then, I guess. So I gotta be able to hit this stupid piece of shit. Without getting anybody else killed, hopefully. This guy might be a problem right here. Carlos. Carlos Poopy. I see him dying. Indigo Lake. That's a horrible name. Like, like Blue Lake, essentially. Mm. Is there a way to like incapacitate people? Like, I put that guy to sleep. That guy, like I said, is going to be my biggest problem right now. That was spotting me. I think I have to wait out. This guy coming back down. I literally do not want to kill any of the people. I have zero interest in killing the people. And if I can help it, might as well let them live. Unless, of course, I can actually, like, freeze him. If I could freeze the telepath midair somewhere. That'd also be convenient, because right now where he's standing is, like, not a good place.
first before they get close. They're puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. The cook's request. Talk to the survivor in the kitchen. Oh, I already did that. Or I guess he is the survivor in the kitchen, so I was like, Not about to kill humans. I am a monster. Yet. Maybe we'll be, uh. Maybe we'll be slightly more evil. Come a little bit more time. Who knows? Come a little bit more time. Who can know? Like this guy. This guy lost his head. Maybe that's not a way to get ahead in life. That's all I'm saying. Daisy White. I feel like I'm seeing like a lot of these names. Here, nothing over there. That's clear. That's clear. So really, the telepath was the only thing that was in here. I guess he did burn a lot of my ammo. To be fair. Neil warns. Dan Billingsley, Chris Wade. Man, there's a lot of people around here. Who's dead? A lot of dead people. Surprised this place doesn't just smell like literal shit. I was like, the one person I was actually concerned about killing was this jackass. Good old Carlos. Walking over. Mid-combat, I'm like, no! No! But suffice to say, I was gonna pop that dude. I don't need that shit. As well save the game here in case something decides to pop off. Might as well. You never know what will happen around any of these corners. suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Ah. Trap if you start. want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Will Mitchells. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Okay. I guess. Search the cook's room for his award. In the crew cabins. I mean, we were just there, so it should still be clear. As far as I can tell, anyway. Uh, 
Oh, so we cleared everything but the kitchen, it seems, yeah. Cosmos flower cuttings. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot. We didn't go up there. Alex's room, yeah. Oh, then we can go up to the actual, like, executive floor or whatever, too. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. I like that. Patience is hurting. Oh, that's because of the poltergeist over there. I'm not going to deal with the poltergeist. We'll take all of his fruit, though. Is there's a poltergeist over there? Encyclopedia of Food, Science, and Cooking. Excerpt from an entry in the Encyclopedia of Food, Science, and Cooking. 2033 edition by Elliot N. Shaw. Clans. Oh, wait. We already did this one. Never mind. I never thought I did that one. Encyclopedia of Cooking. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? It sounds like an anti waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet in this show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an AB conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. The Marcone Noble Chef Award. Why does he have Will Mitchell shit? Food request for Alex. Will. Sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the 4 a.m. or the 0400 hour shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. He says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the executive suites? The code to the grab shaft is 3082. Sounds for Alex. Reply to the emote upgrade. No problem. Don't worry about it, Daniel. M. Morgan to Will Mitchell. Emote upgrade. Morgan. Hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taken food in your quarters now, but wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now. Much better. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Uh, don't be a stranger. Still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock. Just swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help. Will. So is that actually Will Mitchell? Cause it's like... I think that's us. His face got scraped out with a knife. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not actually a co the cook. A sneaky suspicion. Now we should have hers, right? Yeah. Don't on his yet. Hey, you've apparently misplaced your transcribe again. Just wanted you to know I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Call me or something. Abby. Neuromod note. We did that. Get all those, did that, read that. 
<sighs> Animu. Ding 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 ding. I can't. Oh, that's him. Now let's check Abigail's. Hidden treasure. Fabrication plan for the Hunter's Bolt Caster, which we already have. Archive translate file. you today he gave me one of his bullshit i'm sorry's with no resolution between him and morgan it's like a tradition you family sorry was it as insincere as a danielle show apology no danielle i'm not saying working with him is easy but did you just compare me to him to that arrogant sack of shit danielle this has to stop you're right get out we're done danielle i said get out Hmm. Wonder what it has to do with the character sheets. Is what the secret code is. Where are you? I don't think this is a drill. Did you feel the vibration? Felt like a blast in the lower decks. Are you okay? Uh, I see. I've heard some people were hurt. Please be there. Please come find me. I tried calling Emma at the fitness center. Something seriously wrong there. Get out of the crew and I'll come find you. Find a treasure hunt. You're such a nerd, Abigail. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Three, five, six. Transferring loot. Would I get transferred? For the escape pod key, blow the hatch open, find the information in the black box. What I get for that? Oh, I got a chipset. You still there, you? You still alive? Huh? MU comes back. Let MU in. But. But what? You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. Hmm. I don't trust this guy at all. Can I sneak a can I sneak a dart in there? You found something? Huh. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go around the side entrance. Enter the kitchen. 
Wait. A minute. You are safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter. Let's see. Order for Quinton. Four jelly eels, two Pacific sliders, and three Siskak Unagi rolls. It is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? Operator Gilly, at your service. I don't suppose you know where Quentin Price is. His meals are waiting for him. When puppets can get in, explode like bombs. <sighs> the beast lays eggs in their head, make them explode. Interesting. Oh, it's a fabricator. Try to get Game Master IR. Uh, let's see. For shame, adventure. Your reward for taking shortcuts in the treasure hunt is as follows. Reduced recycle yield. Diminished flashlight ca uh, capability. Reduced speed while crawling through tight spaces. Install this as your penance. Remember valor above all else. A foy. Hmm. And you, and you, hmm. I already hear this. More. Where? Oh, they were gonna use the sister of Alex Yu. She's one of the station's co directors and one of the nicest executives you'll ever meet. Haven't been around much for some. Quiet now. So they recognize that I cheated. Uh, safe in here. Okay. What if I just hack this? Between us and beef. Please, I I'm not a threat to you. Mm -hmm. Is he actually going to hit me? Fix that, I guess, but I 
I did not know that was gonna happen if I just like skipped it. I'm assuming this is actually William Mitchell in here. Abigail Foy. Abby, I'm still in deep storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby, please don't take any chances, all right? I... be safe. Danielle Show. Signal Danielle in the fitness center. What did I just pick up? I don't know what I picked up. I'm also really confused what happened there. Cooking with cauliflower. Excerpt from a book on healthy cooking by Catalina Lay. Renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost their nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Um, fowl. I forgot how to read this word. I'm just gonna call it fowl. Fox, mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower fried rice, pellets, and more. If you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimple delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add a blast of color to your palette or to your plate. I still found it kind of funny that guy just ran from me out of nowhere. <laughs> Apparently, trying to figure out why he's cons why he's labeled a bad guy, but I'm gonna plop him right here in the goop. Um, hmm. I have no idea why that went that way. Maybe I had something in my teeth. Uh, let's see dump off that and all that junk and that should be good. Oh wait, we should we did get like some booze, right? Yeah a couple things of booze Be good Why don't we get rid of my Q-beam? I kind of need that thing
also mildly convenient that uh, we're supposed to pound on the glass here. I'm assuming we're just gonna see our corpse float by or something. Oh, no, she's here. Morgan? If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't... <gasps> Nothing more that I can do for you right now. But look, be careful. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. <gasps> His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but <gasps> the ID doesn't make any sense. He... <laughs> I think he's the one that killed Abby. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Goodbye, Morgan. So she was just chilling there the whole time? Okay. Restore from backup. Use a sample of Daniel Shill's voice to enter deep storage. So that's why I'm not supposed to let him live. Kill the imposter cook. Well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. Hmm. Psychotronics. He dumped her body while she was probably still alive over here. Okay. I was alright if he was just an imposter, but... If he's gonna go around murdering people. Little little chop to the head seems okay to me. Little chopper chop. The technopath just chilling here, okay. Well, we're gonna go that way in a second. I wanna go actually up there first. Also, no clue why all of this cis thing's not getting shot by this thing, but. you handle that. Rising stars, already read that. Don't care. Clark Rafferty, or Rafferty. Rafferty, yes, Rafferty, Rafferty. Oh, words work. Oh. 
just been That's great. So I found your sticky note, the one under the desk with your password. Wait, you were under my desk. Look, you need to keep your password safe. All right. I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me. I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Flattered. Any day now. Oh, so this is where we first saw our first poltergeist. Okay. Or not first one, but the the one that's in here. Okay. Good to know. Evie Coolidge. Scanning target. No type and material detected. Alright, this seems like a pretty good place to save then. We'll save here and then we'll call it there for today slash this evening because yeah i should probably go to bed so we get me a little tiny bit of rest so with that being said like uh I, yes that's gonna be what i said but i like this this is it clearly indicative that i need to go to bed my brain's not working at all in any capacity but yeah that's going to do it for the night stream slash this period because yeah that's all I got. So, uh, I don't even have an outro really. That's just gonna do it for me for now. So, with that being said, love you guys. Take care. Peace out. All that good jazz. And as always, I will catch you, lovely nerds, on the next one. But until then, goodbye for now. Later's. <laughs>